What is up and welcome back and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We have AI is the answer for and we're going to be comparing this shoe to a modern day basketball shoe. This shoe came out two decades ago so there's been a lot of changes in technology and design in basketball shoes since then. So let's see how well this shoe stacks up to a modern day basketball shoe. Also we're going to be giving out some tips when you decide to wear your retros out. So let's get into some of the details of this video. I had this shoe with me for a while now in my collection, but I'm going to be playing with it pretty soon. That's why I wanted to do this video with you guys. The middle section of the shoe where it says I3 and the tongue is also reflective and that looks real nice when there's white light or a flash. Allen Iverson. It also says only the strong survive. This shoe and that move he did during the NBA playoffs against the Lakers against Tyron Lue made AI a legend. Plus when he stepped over him, nowadays any player doing that would have got a technical. One thing I always loved about this shoe was the zip up feature because that adds to the lockdown of this shoe, keeping your feet secured. So here we have the Kyrie 7 and it is a shoe I constantly buy in. I actually changed it up a little bit for you guys. It was real dirty but I use EB Kicks. And I got a lot of good things to say about this shoe. I'm going to say this is one of the best shoes out there right now. So if you can buy in the Kyrie 7's I highly recommend. Now this shoe right here, the Allen Iverson, the Answer 4, is one of my all time classics that I love to ball in back in the day. I had a lot of good memories and a lot of good crossovers. As you can imagine, this kind of shoe kind of brings that out in you. One thing I want to mention is when you get a basketball shoe, you always want to look at the bottom of the shoe. If we flip both of these around, we can see that this one has real heavy traction. And that's something that I always tell players and friends is, hey, try to get a shoe with heavy traction, especially if you're gonna play indoors. If we look at this shoe, you can see that the traction is real heavy in the front more on the sides, not so much down the center, and as well in the back. You can see that it is not so heavy in the back as well. So that means you're going to be playing a lot in the front of your foot for all your movement. And that's something to have in mind, okay? So make sure you know the type of shoe you're playing basketball in. If you have a shoe that has a lot of cushioning and you feel that you're off the ground pretty high, you know, try to jump a lot and try to go for dunks. But if you have a shoe that feels flat, don't do that. That goes the same with this type of shoe. This shoe is going to give you movement and you can cut and slash. But you remember, you're going to have limitations because the technology wasn't there back in the day. And this one is a modern day basketball shoe. And you can see the technology is there. And it's also low to the ground. So you're going to feel the ground. This one is kind of, I'm going to say, I feel you're kind of like medium height in this shoe. I don't feel the ground as close as in this one. And also, there's a lot of reports that the answer for this version, it has DMX cushioning, but it's not the true DMX like back in the day. So that's the one I put this shoe on. I, I did feel that because I remember the original answer for, I felt I was more elevated off the ground. In this one, I do feel a little bit of flatness when I'm wearing it. And this next tip is especially for my retro sneaker heads out there. I know you guys love your retro shoes. Let's take a look at this one. You can see that it's leather all throughout. And what is that going to tell you? It's going to tell you that this shoe is not going to be that breathable. So if you're deciding to wear this in the summer, believe me, your foot's going to be very, very hot. Okay. And if you live in cold weather or let's say winter is coming up, now this shoe would be perfect for that because your feet are going to be warm. So this is a shoe I recommend, especially in those conditions. But if you're going to be playing in it, just remember, try the in-between games maybe. Just take your foot out, you know, let the shoe get a little bit of air, let it ventilate, then put it back on and go play your next game. That's what I do sometimes in between games for like a minute or two. It does really help out, especially if you're going to play in a shoe like this. Something else I wanted to mention is the lining of this shoe. Inside the shoe. 
it's leather and it's white okay so you're gonna to want to be careful with that and I'll explain it in a second now if we look at this Kyrie 7 which is a modern day performance shoe we can see that it's one material on the outside and on the inside is this type of material because this material is easier to keep clean okay and the dirt doesn't show or it doesn't attract dirt that easily okay and I've been playing this shoe for a long time and you can see that it still looks still looks good now in a shoe like this especially if you have some dirt or you're playing a long time and you're sweating that is going to transfer onto the leather okay so try to avoid maybe wearing um, some dark color socks because the ink especially if the socks are brand new are going to transfer over to the leather especially if it's white okay and also if you're playing inside the gym or outside and it, the weather's real hot you're going to be sweating a lot okay so that can contribute to this not looking as fresh okay so just be mindful follow the tips that we're mentioning it's going to help you out I also want to talk about the side of the shoe if we take a look at the side of this shoe we can see that it's not like this one with today's modern technology now they add a thicker layer on the side especially for toe drags as you can tell have a little bit of toe drag right there okay with the older shoes you're not going to have that it's not going to be as thick or as high you can see look that's real high and you also have traction on the side of the shoe okay with the older shoes you're not going to have that you see there's no traction on the side and it's not as high as the Kyrie 7 especially on the inside look look how thick that is okay And there you have it, and this was a comparison of the Allen Iverson, the Answer 4, with the Kyrie Irving 7. And this shoe right here is going to be my go-to for a modern day basketball shoe. It is very light and also has real good traction, like we mentioned. Also very breathable, okay, so that's why I like this shoe. Now for the Answer 4, this shoe right here is a shoe that has very nice looks, especially with the leather all throughout. Also a shoe that's very legendary, that Allen Iverson made with the step over. But it's also going to have its limitations, especially with the traction. Not that heavy in the back like we mentioned. It's not going to be that breathable. So just make sure you're wearing it for the right occasion. Hopefully you were able to learn something and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like. And thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.